Nice. So the aim of the study was the review of newer data about treatment of B-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's using a chimeric antigen receptor T-cell and treatment of cytokine release syndrome, which is a major side effect after this therapy and the most commonly occurring one. So during this therapy, patients' uh, T-cells are modified by genetic engineering to target specific antigen. And on figure one, you can see all stages of this ther therapy. Lycophoresis, uh, uh, genetic modified, multiplied in the dose, and then infusion back. So, tisiglinacil or chimeria is a production based on uh, CD19 directed genetically modified autologous T cell uh, immunotherapy, which proved to be effective and in 2017 was approved by Food and Drugs Association for treatment of B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And to side effect, uh, cytokine release syndrome also known as cytokine storm. Uh, please look at figure two. Uh, is characterized by a release of large amount of pro-inflammatory cytokines that can lead to harm of organism. Um, all cytokines that's listed in uh, fig figure two are presented almost in all cases of CART cell monotherapy. And in the center of event, as you can see, Cytokine AL6 that plays the most important role in the uh, severity of cytokine release syndrome. Uh, for example, he is, the respons he is responsible for uh, multi organ dysfunction. Yeah. And that's why the cytokine is targeted with uh, monoclonal chimeric antibodies, such as satirizumab and siltuximab. Another cytokine, AL1, uh, that can reverse back AL6. And we can target him with another immunosuppressive drug, Enekinra. And in addition, Tizitinib is a drug, or to say it more uh, accurate, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor that can regulate activity of CART cells. Also, Tizitinib uh, reduced mortality in mice model. So, and in conclusion, a CRT cell immunotherapy has different ways to become bet better, more efficient, and safer. And uh, uh, cell and fusor studies are necessary for this therapy also to prevent uh, the development of side effects. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. So just uh, Volodymyr, I just like your picture, like a tornado. So it's associated by cytokine storm on your presentation and I enjoyed it. It's very well. So we have one question in our chat from Larissa Skilka. So what do you know about sex difference in the side effect considering sex differences in the inflammation development and controlling? Uh, how how said, how this uh... Excuse me, I didn't understand. I mean, a cytokine release syndrome influence on different sexes, or uh... yes, yes, cytokine storm in different sexes. Mm, uh, sorry, but this question is uh, is beyond the scope of my research, so I, I it's I okay. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you. You can tell us what's the dangerous effect of the cytokine storm. Yes, for example, a lot of us are hearing about it when we know just now in the beginning of 2020 about COVID syndrome. Yes, we also hear about cytokine storm. Can you explain us quickly for students and people who are not already understand the definition of cytokine storm? What is dangerous for this? Uh, uh, what is cytokine storm? It's uh, uh, when a uh, uh, a different uh, cytokines, on one of the, several of them is listed on uh, figure two or uh, are lead to, are released in large amount and uh, lead to harm. And uh, their, their functions to uh, different, uh, to control, uh, control macrophages, their uh, regenerative functions, uh, but all these functions, when they are in majority, are, are reversing. They, instead of doing help, they are overhelping and uh, causing uh, troubles. Okay, thank you so much, Volodymyr. 
so I also hope that yesterday you are enjoying the masterclass of Psychometry too, and you are also uh, enjoying hosting here. So we can start to share your screen and we are continue and the next